So it's beautiful. It's a little chilly and cold. It's beautiful. Catch us some vitamin D. You need vitamin D. Remember that. You need vitamin D. Look at my kids. My kids right there. So they doing their own thing. But you need vitamin D, guys. So get out. And, you know, I mean, you don't have to go by the boats. But you can go, you know, in your backyard. And, you know, they're going. It's ridiculous with this stuff. But you still need vitamin D, guys. You're going to need vitamin D. But last year, I did a, I did a webinar, actually. Like about two and a half hour webinar. And the webinar talked about what's happening right now. I feel like, whoa, I sat with the man. So I don't know how many of you guys watched my webinar last year, this time. I think it was March 19th. And I predicted, I said, but I said in three or five years, I said jobs like bus drivers, I mean, uh, truck drivers, waiters, waitresses, Uber drivers, jobs will be lost in three to five years because of automation and technology so i'm thinking all right well three to five years because they're working on the technology and uh you know an ai and they got the smart intelligence and you know everything so a lot of these jobs won't be needed a year later corona came corona said these jobs are not needed any longer <laughs> nobody predicted this but well bill gates did he said what did bill gates say he said that there's going to be an attack on this world and it's not going to be like a violent attack you know weapons and guns and shit it's going to be like a virus and he predicted it so for sure i know this is man-made for sure right this is not like god this just happens no this is actually man-made so corona here's the stats on that so my stats <laughs> when i did my webinar my prediction i said that in three to five years five million jobs will be gone in the restaurant sector um even some jobs in the hospital uh you know sector the real estate <laughs> you know real estate <laughs> real estate agents you know also you know certain type of um car wash all kinds of jobs that's i think it's essential cashiers administrators secretaries right nail salons nail techs like all of these jobs now in the last three weeks guys literally have vanished literally administrators if you're an administrator right a dental assistant right you was a janitor or you was a cleaner right right now if you were here a hair tech or a nail tech or if you're a nail tech right now right even if you're a barber what if you're a, sm a, a small mom and pop store right that was been working for 20 years 30 years building your own business and corona just come and wipe you out and then the government say you gotta take a loan now a loan A loan? For what? What are we gonna do with a loan? What? To pay back for what? For the shit y'all did? Y'all what? No, no, no. This is terrible. Okay? This is terrible what's happening to the American people. I'm not lying. This is very, very sad. And, you know, we should, as a people, get mad enough, you know, to do something about it. But Corona came on the scene, guys, and literally wiped out 4 million jobs in three three weeks four million you may know some people lost their jobs now teachers are good they still getting paid to the end <laughs> nurses and doctors is good they getting paid to the end right but now they're letting the inmates out now correction officers right you know police officers senators are getting it now wait a minute Wait, this is designed to kill. Period. This ain't no little baby. Let's let's get beds. No, this is designed to kill off. No matter how many beds you get. So this is serious. Nobody predicted this. 
Nobody predicted that it was going to be this catastrophic. Nobody predicted that this was going to be this catastrophic. You know how much billions of dollars, guys, is lost? You know how much billions of lives is affected? It's crazy. It's crazy, guys. We are in some bad times. Nobody knows what's going to happen to the next person. How the hell are you going to know? You don't even know what's going to happen the next minute. Some damn days. Now you scroll on social media. All you see is talking about the coronavirus and now the stimulus. How the fuck we go from the coronavirus to the stimulus? How the fuck we go from impeaching Trump to fucking coronavirus? We went from the fucking wall to impeaching Trump now to the fucking coronavirus, now the stimulus. I'm just sick of America. And, you know, I feel as a people, we need to wake up. Why is your shoes not on, Cheyenne? Get out on the photo shoot. This girl has no shoes on. No shoes. She has no, put your shoes on, please. Don't get crazy with this thing. <laughs> don't, get, don't get crazy. This is bad, guys. But this is definitely bad, right? But here's the thing. Being able. Being able, being able, guys, to understand and recognize where the world is going, right? <laughs> Even though I didn't predict a year, <laughs> but a lot of jobs that were lost will not come back. And I just feel bad for those people. I truly do. A lot of waiter jobs are not coming back. A lot of waitress jobs are not coming back. A lot of administrative jobs are not coming back. Secretary jobs, security guard jobs, or a lot of those are not coming back, unfortunately. I don't know. I think Corona just happened before, you know, everybody knew what the fuck was happening. Nobody really understood what Corona really was or is. People still don't understand it. Right? But what I want people to know. What I want people to know is that this is a reset. This is a reset. This is a reset. Right? So, see, I'm only 36. So, it's not like I got a whole lot of experience. Right? I don't have, like, a whole, whole lot of experience in life. And, you know, I'm just being expert. And, you know, but I study people that study this shit. They eat, sleep, and breathe the economy. They eat, sleep, and breathe and stuff. That's all they know, the economy. You know about gold and silver and how economies work and how governments work and all of that. So I listen to these people. And they be dead spot on. All right, so where did I get my information from? I got it from some people that I listen to. And I be like, damn, they be dead spot on. Right? But see also too, what I learned from them, not just all these jobs will vanish, but also learn that I gotta secure my mother fucking self, man. I gotta secure myself. Now anything can happen, right? Any fucking thing. We all can get corona, everybody die. That's what can happen, right? But what also can happen is that you got you. <laughs> What's also important is that you got you. See, all the people that lost their jobs, the five million, this is what I talked about on my webinar too. Let's just say 80% of them didn't have a plan B. Their plan B is the stimulus package. <laughs> the plan B <laughs> was the stimulus package. on Trump to give us a thousand dollars for three months or however long and then what? Hopefully the job come back? Yeah. Oh, well. Here's what I said, <laughs> you know. As a person, as a mother, as a father, as a aunt, as a godmother, as a grandparent, as a sister, as a brother, gotta say am I gonna secure myself because if all we think about is an outside force 
or like an outside person to make sure that we are good, guess what? We would never take responsibility and say, you know what? I got to make this shit happen, sis. Not the, the fucking government. I wait on the government, baby. I'm going to starve. Trust. I'm waiting on the government. These niggas, they're going to take how long to send out this thousand dollars or however have, have many, however much. So I got to wait on them. Because I ain't had no money. Because I didn't take care of my responsibility. Because I didn't know how. Right? I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. Right? So these are the things that we need to, you know, think about, right? So like I said, this is a reset for also a lot of people, right? Also a lot of people. I don't have at least two months of bills, not even two months, come on. Sis, we got at least two months of bills. Six months is ideal. All right, you got two months, okay, cool. You're not about, your heart ain't jumping out your chest, right? With two bills, you're like, all right, you know, I got two months, so. Here's the time. Here's the thing, too, guys. This, now's the time to take literally step back. Now is the time to step back and say, "Wait up! Hold the fuck up! I just lost my job. Wait, hold up! My income just stopped. Wait, hold up! Wait, let me reevaluate. Let's not panic, right? You see people panic right away, like, "Oh shit! Oh my god!" Right? Oh my god! What am I do? Step back. Here's what you do. Step back. 10 steps, take 10 steps back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're taking 10 steps back, right? And then look forward. See, you step back to look forward to now strategize how you're gonna get forward now. See, you step 10 steps back to strategize on what you're gonna do. Is that simple enough? Hopefully that's simple enough. You step 10 steps back, go 10 steps back. Literally. Step back, go in your house and literally step 10 steps back. Sit right there, wherever that's 10 steps is at. And now strategize moving forward. Okay, what's important now? What's important now? What is immediately important right now in my life, in this second, with this coronavirus shit? We don't know what the fuck it is, this pandemic. What do I need to do? Who do I need to contact? Who do I need to call? What do I need to do? If this goes on for the next six months, what do I need to do? That's what you have to do now. If this goes on for the next six months, what am I going to do? Not say, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, you know, something come through. Oh, you know, hopefully my lawsuit come through. Hopefully, you know, I could go take out some money, you know, from a 401k. Like, oh, no. <laughs> hopefully, no. Hopefully, for six months, if this happens, goes on for the next six months, what is your plan of action? What's my plan of action? How are you going to get money? How are you going to feed your kids? Well, you got to pay your rent. You got to pay your rent now. So that's a good thing. <laughs> you got to pay your rent. You ain't gotta pay your mortgage, you ain't gotta pay your car note. So what are you gonna do? And you get all this extra money, what you gonna do? You are the one that control starting now. If you starting at zero, guess what? If you start at zero, how, you can't go no further. How the fuck do you go further? Go further where? If you're starting at zero, that's where you start. Go up. All you can do is go up now. You can't go down no more. Zero is the down. <laughs> People be killing me. So stay, te take 10 steps back. Think forward for six months. What you need to do for six months. What you need to put in place. If you don't have a business, what do I need to start a business? To learn a new skill so that I can now start making some bread. So in six months, I got six months worth of bills. Or what do I need to do? Do I need to take out money from my 401k for the next six months to make sure me and my family good? Or what do I need to do? Do I need to find out what's in my bank account for the next six months?